Bailey Lakes, Ohio, home to St. Scholastica, the Battling Bishops. Once again, we're playing host to another team. Always good to host a team. I, I think I see their fans coming now. What's up, YouTube? What's the crack? Your good friend Jasper coming at you. More NCAA 13 three way rivalry online dynasty axiom. This uh, is from year one of our online dynasty. It's me, uh, your good friend Dasberg. I'm the Batlin Bishops. It's my good friend Jimmy B. He is the Barry University Angry Beavers. And this week it's BA and his infamous. Fighting Amish, high state fighting, fighting Amish, and uh, yeah, I ended up hosting both teams, so that uh, worked out well, I guess. As you can see, coming into this game, this is a pretty big game and a conference game. Uh, I'm ranked. I've worked my way back up to a number 11 rank, and uh, BA's had a great season so far with this team, uh, pretty much crushing all opposition, and he's worked his way all the way up to four. Uh, his halfback coming into this game was actually number one on the list for Heisman. So how is she going to play out? I wonder, I wonder. Well, we're going to definitely see some high, uh, high level gameplay here and uh, very, very frustrating for both of us as, as you'll see from uh, how it goes down. So, so far, really enjoying NCAA. Uh, we actually did a monster marathon session. Oh, uh, what? Uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday morning. It was like we were 16 year old kids again. Uh, we were just over at BA's there. I mean, uh, Saturday was 11 straight hours, and uh, Sunday we got about uh, another four or five in. So we are almost done season two, believe it or not, because of that. So I've already got uh, my game, my year two game with uh, Jimmy B taped up, and we'll hit you up with that. And I've also got. Uh, my game with uh, BA, which is like week 14, believe it or not, of the season, so, and there's only one more game after that, so uh, we're maybe going to be able to get that done tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll have to see how each other's uh, schedule works out there, you know, real life and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, things are going well so far, uh, and as I said, really enjoying the game, you know, it, it's really nice that all of us are able to play. I had a huge bit of a problem. For some reason, I couldn't play uh, anybody online behind my router, so, you know, what I was having to do in year one there and uh, in my game against uh, uh, what I was supposed to play, Jimmy, not yesterday, the day before that, and we couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on, why we couldn't, like, we just get stuck in the stupid loading loop, and it was my router, man, because what I was doing, I was direct, direct, I had to basically direct connect my Xbox to my internet to uh, play any games, and... Yeah, I was just like, you know what, screw this, uh, my router's a couple of years old, went out and got uh, the Big Daddy, uh, Netgear 4500, and loving that thing, it, it was just, uh, it was a bit of a pain in the ass to set up, but uh, yeah, so far, after uh, a little over a day's use with the thing, and considering all the features and options in it, you know, I'm pretty impressed, I'd recommend it to anybody, I'll, I will say though, the thing's big, dude, <laughs> you know, I've got a Galaxy Tab, what? 10.1 and th this thing towers over that galaxy tab man <laughs> so as you can see uh, with I jump out to the early lead here a little bit of home field juju I'm able to uh, pin him back deep there on a punt and uh, whip off a safety on him and uh, follow that up with a quick strike touchdown but uh, I somehow you think a team with the name like uh, fi the fighting Amish there are not going to uh, I'm not going to be taking this uh, laying down, as they say. What else has been going on? Uh, the off season. I will say one thing about the NCAA is the whole back end, uh, the whole off season, and how that's handled. Man, that has really, really got to be updated. And I don't know if it's going to be able to on this generation console. If there's going to be really a, a willingness or a desire to do it, uh, what do you call it? The uh, you know while they're in this generation, but it really has not changed. In, 
a long, long time. No? <laughs> you know, we were talking about that on the weekend. Is that because what we ended up doing our off season Friday? I do believe, or no, maybe Friday, or was it Thursday? I think we did it Friday night. And, you know, and it's you know just with three of us, it's still a good you know hour and a half, almost two hours to go through the stupid thing because it's. You know, every, all three people do their thing, and then you got to upload it, and then everybody does, gets back into it again, and then everybody does the thing, and then you got to upload it. And it's really a pretty, you know, the, and why I say it needs to be updated is it's pretty antiquated. You would think that they would just plug all the info. You know, my thought is, why don't they just plug all the info for all the players and stats and whatnot just into, uh, like, a, you know, for a computer geeks out there, into, like, a, a SQL server, which is just like a database server. And just use a bunch of simple Java apps for us to generate all this stuff. Because I know when we were running Madden back on, uh, uh, we were actually pl playing Madden on PC there for a little bit uh, back in the early 2000s. Uh, I ran, uh, you know, just this great little web script. Oh, I, I can't remember that off the top of my head, but that's basically all it would do is it would just uh, take all the data basically from every game, and it, you know. Uh, when you're playing on PC, you can save all your game stats and it just spits it out, spits it out in a simple text file. You just don't l upload that text file, and bam, it just uh, reads all the info off that text file, plugs it in the database, and you know the amount of information that was available was crazy on it, man. And the and the level of and again the the nice thing too was the level of customization you could do it on it too, and it was a pretty simple thing to set up too. But unfortunately, you know EA and their great wisdom uh, decided no more. Uh, you know, no more football on PC, so... And that's one thing I, I have commented a couple of times, actually, uh, in a couple of discussions out there, is... I think, you know, I'm really interested to see how Madden comes out this year, because really what happened, uh, you know, what's going to happen with Madden after, you know, this big hype, you know, between this year and next year, I'd say by the end of next year, I'm really interested to see where that franchise is at, because I have a se sneaking suspicion why we haven't seen this game, you know, the, the EA, uh, like the NCAA game and the Madden game progress forward too much, is that uh, I think we're, you know, we're, we've bumped up to the limitations really of the, what the Xbox will do. And, and again, you know, this game is primarily developed for the for the Xbox. So, you know, again, that that's what uh, your good friend Dasmerg's thoughts are, are on it. So let's see what happens with Madden uh, and let's see what... You know, what does Madden look like? And also, don't forget NCAA, because NCAA is going to have a bit of an advantage next year. And then I guess the other big news, too, for uh, for folks of uh, video game football was the... Um, well, two things was the price-fixing uh, lawsuit, that, the class-action lawsuit that uh, EA was into. That was over the whole exclusive license and uh, 2K being killed off, and how the price... Uh, went from what went from like 50, what 49.99 back up to 69.99. You know, mystery of mysteries. And then the other thing uh, that came out of that is that uh, the exclusivity and EA is not going to be opting for an exclusive uh, NCAA license after this run is out. So you know, I think that we're really going to see what's uh, what's going to happen. Oh, sorry, I'm getting buzzed. I'm getting buzzed on my BlackBerry. You know. Hey man, I'm old. I'm old school, but uh, yeah, it's just my wife. I wonder if we're uh, going to see my uh, my youngest brother and his wife and their kid this weekend. Down to T dot, baby. Is they're right in T dot, right in Dune Dune Tune. Anyways, wanted way off topic here. We should get talking a little bit about the game. As you can see, uh, BA in his uh, high state. I've been able to battle back here. And it has not been pretty on the offensive line. There's been a oh, ton of oh, sacks. I actually, as you saw earlier on, I got knocked out of uh, field goal range, which was a uh, real some bitch. And this was a uh, uh, this was really annoying for me because you can see with the time here at 2:26, I actually called a timeout for that to freeze the kicker. It looks like it happens inside of two minutes. So there's a pro tip for you: don't bother wasting your timeouts if you're just outside of two minutes. <laughs> Uh, at the end of a quarter or the end of a game in a close game. And sadly, it, uh, the wheels come off for me here at the end. And this is this is the... Well, this is the heartbreaker number one. Uh, heartbreaker number two is coming up here very shortly. Like, this is... <laughs> one of those Ralph Wiggum moments. You can see my little heartbreak just, like, flag. And uh, I, I can remember B.A. going, holding. 
holding, it don't matter. <laughs> and yeah, it's holding. And it's pretty much game over. So here's BA kicking a little dirt over on top of me, which I'm sure I'm going to be uh, kind to repay the favor for him. As he said, uh, covering the point spread. Yeah. <laughs> and your final from Bailey Lakes. It's uh, the Fighting Amish, 20, and me, 9. Damn. I uh, actually didn't up, end up hurting me too bad. I only fell down to uh, 12, and uh, Herman didn't move up at all. So, thanks for watching. We're going to hit you up on more NCAA soon.